This is the second part of the page rank algorithm topic. At the end of the first part, we discussed how the transition matrix is constructed from the adjacency matrix of the internet work. Let us move forward. The transition matrix is a column stochastic matrix. The meaning is that the summation of each column of the transition matrix will be 1. In the beginning, when we don't have any idea about what the importance values or page rank values of each website would be, we have to consider that all websites have equal importance. The vector that contains the importance values of all websites is called a rank vector. A rank vector is a column vector where each cell represents the importance value or the page rank value of a website. We have three websites A, B, C and we encoded our adjacency matrix and transition matrix in the sequence of A, B and C. Therefore we will have to use the same sequence in the rank vector. Therefore for the rank vector this cell represents A and this cell represents B and this cell represents website C. In the very beginning when we don't have any idea about which website has what page rank value we will be assuming that each website has the same page rank juice. Here it would be 1 over 3, 1 over 3 and 1 over 3 for a, B and C. The summation would be 1 as said before. Now notice one thing that in this part of the formulation we said that the importance of a website is the summation of the incoming links. Now notice here that the rows of the adjacency matrix and the transition matrix refer to the incoming links. The columns refer to the outgoing links. As we know, the importance of a website is the summation of the incoming links. We'll try to see if there is any matrix operation that reflects the summation of the incoming links. We have a 3 by 3 transition matrix and we have a 3 by 1 rank vector. What happens if we multiply them? If we multiply a 3 by 3 matrix by a 3 by 1 matrix, the result will be a 3 by 1 matrix. Let's do the multiplication and we will see that that multiplication reflects the summation of the importance values coming via the incoming links. Let's consider node A. Notice that here we have two incoming links, one coming from B and one coming from C. So whatever the importance of value of B is, which in this case is 1 over 3, that divided by 2, which means that multiplied by half, then the second incoming link has C over 3, which means the importance value in C, which currently is 1 over 3, times 1 over 3. Now, what is the importance value that is coming from A itself? Practically nothing, which is zero. Now, notice that this importance value, the summation, this is practically reflected by matrix multiplication. How is that? Zero times one over three is here. Then half times 1 over 3 is here, then 1 over 3 times this 1 over 3, they're here. So in matrix multiplication, whenever you are using this row and this column to compute the first cell of this new column vector, that is practically using this equation. Now for the second cell of the new rank vector, here we will be using this row and of course this column. Now we have 0 times 1 over 3 plus 0 times 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 
times 1 over 3. Notice here that C currently has 1 over 3 which is reflected here and that value of C is divided by 3. We are practically using this equation to compute the second cell which is B. Now for the third cell we have multiplication generated from this row and this column. Hence we have 1 times 1 over 3 plus half times 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 times 1 over 3. Notice that this is exactly this equation. We use whatever we have in A. We use half of whatever we have in B. We use one third of whatever we have in C. Awesome! Now we have a new rank vector. Simplifying this, you will see that the values for this three calculations will become 5 over 18 then this second cell will be 1 over 9 and this third cell will be 11 over 18. Now that we have this updated rank vector we can replace our previous rank vector with this newly generated rank vector. Let's replace our previous rank vector with this newly generated rank vector. Excellent! That is, now we can again apply the multiplication and we can create another new rank vector. And we can repeat these iterations again and again. The new calculations can be performed the same way as before. After doing all these calculations, we'll see that the values will be approximately 0 0.259 for website A, 0.2037-ish for website B, and 0 0.537 for website C. We can repeat the process again and we can do the matrix multiplication using this updated rank vector. And you will find that after doing all the calculations for this particular matrix multiplication, the values would be 0 0.28086 for website A, 0 0.179012 for website B, and 0. 54012 for website C. Of course, we can repeat the process again. I want to note here that for every iteration, you'll find that the rank vector sums up to 1. The reason is that in the very beginning, our rank vector had a summation of 1. That means each of the rank vectors we saw sum up to 1. So far, it is indicating that website C has the highest page rank juice, meaning is that this is the most important one. Website A has the second highest page rank value, indicating that this is the second most important website. B is the third most important website. So let's bring in all the page rank vectors we have seen so far. So in the first iteration, we had this rank vector where we had equal probabilities for three websites. So I'm bringing this right here. After multiplying this with the transition matrix, we received another rank vector, which is this one. So this was our second rank vector. So I'm copying this. I am pasting it right here um, side by side with our first rank vector. This is our third rank vector. I am copying this and I am putting it right here. Here is our next rank vector and then our um, next rank vector was this one which I have already placed here. 
if we continue doing multiplication of the latest rank vector with the transition matrix after many many iterations we will receive this rank vector for website a we'll have 0 0.272727 for website b we will have 0 0.181818 one eight and for website c we will have zero point five four five four five four five four so on and so forth so finally we'll see that website c has the most importance website a has the second most importance and website b has the third most importance because website c has the highest page rank value website a has the second highest page rank value and website b has the third highest page rank value even if we keep multiplying the newest page rank vector with the transition matrix we'll find that the newest vector is not changing anymore Therefore, when we find that the new page rank vector is almost equal to the page rank vector of the previous iteration, that is when we know that the page rank algorithm has converged and we declare that this is our final page rank vector and we make our decision regarding which websites are the most important ones based on the page rank values we see in the rank vector finally for this given network this is the final page rank vector now you know how to compute the page rank vector practically the page rank algorithm quantifies the relative importance of web pages based on hyperlinks between websites. Broadly speaking, a website hyperlinked or cited by many other websites will have a higher page rank value, of course. The hyperlink network structure plays a vital role too. In each iteration of the page rank algorithm, where we multiplied the transition matrix with the latest page rank vector, we passed each website's page rank juice to other websites via its outgoing hyperlinks. Or it can be said as each website updated its page rank values by collecting the page rank juice from other websites via incoming links. We keep doing these multiplications until the page rank vector converges. In the following video, we will go deeper into the analysis and subsequently we will learn about a potential issue of this algorithm that we have learned so far. Smash the like button if you liked this video and hit the dislike button if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel either way. See you soon in the next video on page rank algorithm.